Hello and welcome everyone. It's time for our beautiful English class. Just a reminder, we're on the third intermediate grade, full blast five, we're in first semester. Our subject is English. Our lesson today, three E school days, vocabulary, listen, speak, and write. Prepare and presented by Hamad Falat. Let's start. What we are going to learn today. We are going to use verb related to school and education. Okay, very important. We're gonna listen for specific information. It's a very good skill. And we're gonna speak and use the vocabulary about school with specific structure. Okay, are you ready? Let's start. English class, like this one. The beautiful, beautiful English class. Do you attend English courses? Do you attend English courses? Yes, you say, yes I do. No, no I don't. Okay. Beautiful English, useful class. Okay. Attend. Is that vocabulary, everybody? Use this vocabulary for school and education. As we said before, okay, attend. Look at the picture. Attend where? Attend, it means like you will be there, okay? To be there. Attend a class. Attend a lesson. Attend a course. Attend school, okay? Attend the class, lesson, course, and school. Okay, we use revise the educational to do it again. Re it means to do it again. Okay? Like this lesson that you took before, you revise it all because for an exam or for a test. Exam is the formal thing for a test. Okay? Sit for. Take. Sit for. Look at the picture, everybody. Take a test or sit for a test. Sit for exam. Okay? Sit down. Okay? To take a test. To answer the question that you have in the exams. Okay? Miss. Miss a class. Not attend. Okay? Not attend. You are not there. Miss it. Sleep or something that make you miss a class, or miss a lesson, miss school. You were sick or something, then you miss school, I miss an exam. Do well in. To make a good result in your test. Do well in exam or do well in a test. Pass. Pass. You pass the test. Fail. You didn't pass the test. Or any exam. Okay, everybody? Do well in. You do good in the exam. You pass the exam. You succeed. You will go to the next level or stage to fail. Not pass the exam or a test. Okay? Get exam result. Get exam results or get good or bad marks. Or great, you can say. Get exam result. This is the exam result. A, C, B. Okay. This is the result. Excellent. Good. Okay. This is the result. Get good or bad marks. Get D's or F. You felt this is a bad mark. If you get straight A's, it's a good mark. Complete the sentence one to five with the correct form of the verb. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. Obviously. Khalid blank his driving test yesterday. And now he wants to buy a car. 
Okay. What is the suitable verb? Okay, number two. I fell asleep while I was studying and I blacked my French lesson. I what? My French lesson. Number three. Think about it, everybody. Think about it. Sorry, I can't go out tonight. I have to blank for my math exam. I have to what for my math exam? Number four, Kelly blank the physics exam and she has to blank it again tomorrow. She had to what it tomorrow. That's why the she what? She hopes to blank good result this time. Okay? You have some keyword that tells you what is a suitable. Okay? Verb. Number five, so Dan Faisal blank the same school but they aren't classmates. Blank the same school but they aren't classmates. Okay? Let's see the exam. Okay, let's see the answers. Khalid passed his driving test yesterday. How do you know? And now he want to buy a car. He want to buy a car. If it fell, he will not buy a car. Okay? Number two. I fell asleep while I was studying and I missed my French lesson. So, how do we not miss? Because I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. And here, you want to buy a car. Okay, sorry, I can't go out tonight. I have to revise for my math exam. I can't go out tonight. Okay? That's why I have to Revise for my math exam. Kelly failed the physics exam and she had to take it again tomorrow. Take it again tomorrow. That's why she failed. So she hopes to get good result this time. Okay? So and Faisal attend the same school, but they aren't classmates. Okay? Attend the same school, but they aren't classmates. Okay, everybody? It's easy as Now we're going to listen to two students talking about something that happened at school. Where did it take place? So let's listen carefully. And let's know where did it take place. 3E. School days. 2. Listen. A. Listen to two students talking about something that happened at school. Where did it take place? Hello, Jack. Hi, Sam. Did you hear about that fire at school today? Of course I did. I was there. We were having science with Mr Jackson. I thought Mr Broad was your science teacher. He was ill today. Anyway, he wanted to show us this big experiment, so we had to go outside. Yes, I saw you. I was in the library. I wondered where you were going. I missed the beginning of the experiment because I didn't have my notebook and had to go back to the science lab to get it. But as soon as I went back outside, there was a loud noise. Really loud. I think the whole school heard it. Anyway, the experiment went wrong and Mr Jackson's jacket caught fire. Was he hurt? No, he was fine. But he took it off and threw it onto a bush. Oh, no. You guessed it. The bush caught fire too. Mr Jackson was screaming, Stand back! Stand back! 
Were you scared? Not really. I didn't hear the fire alarm. It wasn't a very big fire, really. I think Mr. Jackson just panicked. Anyway, some other teachers came and put the fire out, and it was all over very quickly. That was quite a lesson. Yes, it was. Okay, just listen to two students talking about something that happened at school, where the question remained: Where did it happen? A or B or C? Library, or schoolyard, or in the lab. What do you think? Of course, it happened here. Okay, happen here. Listen, I T for true or F for false. B. Listen again and write T for true or F for false. Hello, Jack. Hi, Sam. Did you hear about that fire at school today? Of course I did. I was there. We were having science with Mr. Jackson. I thought Mr. Broad was your science teacher. He was ill today. Anyway, he wanted to show us this big experiment, so we had to go outside. Yes, I saw you. I was in the library. I wondered where you were going. I missed the beginning of the experiment because I didn't have my notebook and had to go back to the science lab to get it. But as soon as I went back outside, there was a loud noise. Really loud. I think the whole school heard it. Anyway, the experiment went wrong, and Mr. Jackson's jacket caught fire. Was he hurt? No, he was fine. But he took it off and threw it onto a bush. Oh no! You guessed it. The bush caught fire too. Mr. Jackson was screaming, "Stand back! Stand back!" Were you scared? Not really. I didn't hear the fire alarm. It wasn't a very big fire, really. I think Mr. Jackson just panicked. Anyway, some other teachers came and put the fire out, and it was all over very quickly. That was quite a lesson. Yes, it was. But write T for true or F for false. Okay. Number one. Sam doesn't usually have science lesson with Mr. Jackson. Is it true or false? Think about it. Number two, Sam saw all the experiments. True or false? Number three, the noise wasn't very loud. Number four, everyone at school heard the noise. Everyone. Number five, two things caught fire during the experiment. Number six, Mr. Jackson wasn't here during the, the accident. Number seven, Sam put out the fire. Okay, let's see the answers. Of course, Sam um, doesn't usually have science. His science teacher absent so it's true some saw all the experiments no he came up late he went back to the lab signs up then he heard a loud noise the noise wasn't very loud no he heard a loud noise everyone at school heard the noise of course true two things caught fire during the experiment too the bush and the jacket of the Mr. Er Jackson, okay? Number six, Mr. Jackson wasn't hurt during the accident. This two, seven, Sam put out the five. No, this is wrong, okay? Okay, now answer these two questions. What is this? And what? Do we use it for? Of course, we know what it is and what do we use it for. And another two question: Who is this? And who is this? 
okay? With this and who is this? To, from. Okay? Let's see. Read the following email. So it's an email. Of course, we know the emails and we use emails. Okay. Hello, Abdullah. I'm writing to tell you what happened at school today. You won't believe it. Remember how I told you about my history exam in my last email? Well, I forgot to study and today was exam day. But I was so lucky. Listen to this. When my friends told me about the exam this morning, I panicked. Anyway, just when we were starting, the fire alarm went off and we all had to go and wait outside. When they allowed us back in, there wasn't enough time for the exam. And because it's Friday, I've got a weekend to revise. Is that lucky or what? Anyway, I must go now. I have to start studying. I won't be back. I won't be lucky a second time. Are your exams over? Did you do well? Make sure you write and tell me. Take care, Brad. So, to, from, okay? To, from, don't forget that. Okay, who is writing the email? Who is writing the email? Why is he writing? Number three, what is the relationship between the two boys? Four, what is the purpose of each paragraph? Four, okay. Who is writing the email? Of course, Brad. Why is he writing? He's writing to tell Abdullah what's happened. What's the relationship between the two boys at school? They were E pals, electronic pals. They are friends. They send the email to each other. Okay, what is the purpose of each paragraph? Let's see, match the phrases A to C with the paragraph. Let's go and see. A, ending the email and asking for news. This is the structure, very important, everybody. B, giving news. C, reason for writing. Okay, I think it's obvious. Let's see it. Reason for writing, I'm writing to tell you what happened at school today. You won't believe it. Giving news, this is the news, what happened. Ending the email and asking for news, okay? This is the end of the email and you ask for news, okay? Are you, uh, are you exam over or did you do well? Make sure you write and tell, okay? It is asking for you. Okay. Answer this question. What did Brad forget to do? Number two. How did Brad react when his friend told him about the exam? Number three. What happened when they were starting? Number four. Did they take the exam when they allowed them back in? Number five. Why is Brad very lucky? Why? See the answers. What did Brad forgot, forget to do to study for his history exam? How did Brad react? He was panicked, of course. What happened when they were starting? The fire went and they all had to go and wait outside. Did they take the exam? When they allowed them back in, no, there wasn't enough time for the exam. Why is Brad very lucky? Because it's Friday and he has got all weekend to revise. That's why he's lucky. Okay? 
Now it's your turn to write an email to a friend who lives in another town to give him, you or her, your latest news. If you like, you can write about something that happened at school today. Complete the writing plan. Very important, everybody. Write plan and information email letter giving news. Let's give you our friend and send him emails. Before you write, who are you writing the email to? You have to decide. What is his name? Then, why are you writing this email? This is the main questions, okay? Bring some of your ideas, follow your email and button, then start writing. Greeting is very important. Hi, hello, okay? How you will you begin your email letter? Okay, tell him. Okay, what's the reason? Opening paragraph, begin the paragraph by asking how your friend is, apologizing for not writing often, etc. Et Say why you are writing. Very important point to do when you write. Okay, don't forget, don't forget that. Okay, <clears throat> writing a formal letter or email giving news. This is the main part, everybody. When did it happen? What exactly happened? How did you feel? Brainstorm, write when did it happen? What exactly happened to the news? We're talking about the news, the main part, okay? The middle part, the main part, what's the news? What exactly happened and how did you feel, okay? Don't forget that, greeting. Then we go to the closing paragraph. In your email letter asking for your friend news, signing off, close with an appropriate phrase, okay? Signature, write your first name, okay? Write your first name, okay? Okay, this is the end of our class today, this lesson, and uh, we took a lot of very good vocabulary about school and education, and we know how to write emails. Don't forget, miss the lesson, miss the course, attend the lesson, school, and all the beautiful vocabulary that we talk about education. Please try to use it, get an exam, sit for a test or take an exam, revise for a test or for a exam, okay? So it's time to say goodbye. Please revise your lesson today and I hope you enjoy it. See you next class.